love BeautyCon. It is huge back here and I'm seeing a bunch of some of my favorite YouTubers back here. So I'm trying really hard not to fangirl, but we are kind of going around. They have booths set up, so we're getting samples and everything like that. Lots of fun, but I'll take you guys with me, kind of show you the behind the scenes of BeautyCon and what goes on back here. And then we're gonna go out front where all of the main stuff is, all of the at normal admission, general admission, beauty con is that way. So we'll go and show you guys everything, but yes. So like I just mentioned, I was hanging out in the talent lounge, which is where all of the bloggers, Instagrammers, etc., hang out in between panels and workshops and all that kind of good stuff. Just to show you guys kind of the life of a blogger, this was my first take to try and look casual and walk up to a table, and then I realized I got blocked. <laughs> And then this was take two, my good take, so just so you guys can see the behind the scenes of vlogging. So like I mentioned earlier, they had a lot of the beauty booths set up back here so we could get samples from each of the brands so we could review and test them out for you guys. So that was cool, it's kind of like trick or treating. And then a funny story, I walked up to this table because I was like, can I borrow your mirror so I can touch up my lip gloss? And the guy was like, um, do you want me to touch up your hair? And I was like, oh, is that what you do? And he was like, yeah, that's what I'm here for. So I was like, okay. So I ended up going over there to touch up my lip gloss and ended up getting my whole hair touched up, which is really nice. So thanks in styler. But yeah, this is what the talent lounge looked like. And so that was really fun hanging out back there. Okay, so I'm going from the like talent lounge area over to the real, not the real, but the, <laughs> the big beauty con part. And we're going to go explore and see what they have over there. So let's go. BeautyCon was packed, but it was really fun just getting to check out the different makeup and skincare beauty brands in general. I saw a lot of brands I wasn't familiar with, so it was cool to get a little introduction to it, but I saw a lot of brands I was familiar with, like Lime Crime was there, there was also Crown Brush. I also saw that Tarte was there. Tarte's line was so long, you guys. And L'Oreal was also there. So it was just cool getting to walk through and see all the kinds of new releases that the companies were going to have. Just be sure to wear some comfy walking shoes. The line for NYX is so long. Jeez. Now if you go to BeautyCon, be sure to check their schedule to see if your favorite YouTubers or bloggers are going to be there. I saw a lot of meet and greets, panels, interviews, all that kind of stuff going on. So besides all the beauty stuff, it was just cool to see all of those different people that I watch online. Okay, so we walked around a little bit. Um, it is super crowded here, so we are kind of fighting the crowd. Um, but I'm gonna have my informal meet and greet here soon, so I'm gonna get ready for that. But yeah, let's do that. <laughs> So after exploring for a bit, I headed over to Leaders and I personally think they had the coolest booth because they were handing out real coconuts with real juice. So how cool is that? And then I also got to meet a lot of you guys that came by and said hi. I was kind of worried because I announced it really, really late, literally the night before I was going because I found out I was invited by leaders that week. And so it was still really cool getting to see you guys, take pictures, just talk to you guys for a bit. I always love doing this because I love seeing your guys' faces and hugging you guys. I told you guys, I'm a hugger. And and just getting to get to know you guys because I feel like you get to know me but I don't get to know you guys and it's a chance for me to get to do that so such a blessing and I'm so grateful for the opportunity so thank you so much leaders for inviting me and allowing me to meet you guys and yeah if you're curious what was going on behind me at the leaders booth not only were they handing out the coconuts which was a major hit and awesome to take pictures with i mean hello totally instagram worthy they're also handing out sheet masks and you guys know how much i love leader sheet masks so it was a good opportunity for people to try them out who maybe hadn't tried leader sheet masks or sheet masks in general 
All right, guys, so I am headed back. I had my meet and greet with leaders, and that was a lot of fun. I'll take these off because I find it kind of funny when people talk to people with sunglasses on. But yeah, we're gonna head back, and I think I might show you guys some of the stuff that I got at BeautyCon because I got a lot of stuff. But yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I'm gonna close it out here. And thanks for coming along with me. I hope you guys had fun seeing what BeautyCon is like if you haven't gone. This is actually my first year, so it's my first experience as well. So yeah. As always, hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Good morning, everyone. So I had the opportunity to go to BeautyCon this past weekend. And while I also vlogged my experience, I also wanted to do a haul for you guys. I ended up Snapchatting. Oh my gosh, you can kind of see my lighting in the video. <laughs> Let me move that. Okay, I think I think that's better. <laughs> so I Snapchatted you guys, kind of giving you guys a little bit of a preview of all the products that I got from BeautyCon because I got a ton of products. And asked you guys if you guys want to see a haul. So I'm going to do a really quick haul at the end of this vlog and show you guys what I got. So just as a disclaimer, um, I got all this stuff in the talent section. So they had kind of like a talent lounge where all like the bloggers and the Instagram people and the YouTubers and etc cetera, etc cetera, could go back and hang out. There was like seating and everything so in between panels or workshops or blah 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 blah. We could go hang out back there and so I got one of these passes which got me back. Why don't I just poke my eye out with it? I got one of these passes which got me back there and also back there they had a lot of the brands there that were handing out all these free goodies to just bloggers and YouTubers so we could use them for review purposes, show them in videos, etc, etc. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got. I don't know if I'm planning on reviewing all of these products. Obviously there'd be way too many to review, but if you guys see any products here that you guys want to see more of, let me know. That's kind of the purpose I think of these hauls. Not only to show you what I got, but also see if you guys are interested in any products in particular. So I'm honestly just going to do this very informally. Um, because there's a lot to go through. So first of all, I got this bag here. This is my beauty con tote, which is really nice. Has a zip, everything. Love the how substantial this bag is. So just off the top, this is the Tangle teaser. I've actually used this clearly because there's a hair coming off of it. <laughs> but I put it in the back. Had the box. Put it back in the box so you guys could see it. But I've been meaning to try one of these for a really long time. I actually use a generic. I think it's like a goodie plastic brush type of thing that's meant to be like the Tangle Teaser, so now I have the official Tangle Teaser, and <laughs> as you can see, I've used it a couple times, and it's really nice. It's actually way better than my generic one. Had no idea what I was missing out on, guys. So I got this from Kendra Scott. This is a jewelry maker. I think she said they're from Texas. I could be totally wrong. Maybe it'll stay on this little card. I have no idea, but anyways. So it's just a really delicate, elegant type of jewelry, and I really like this necklace, so I plan on wearing this very, very soon, so I'm excited that I got that. Thanks, Kendra. I always do this in videos. I like take time to put it back. I don't know. Also got some Lexi Premium Synthetic Handmade Brushes. This is a brush that, woo! This has a scent to it, by the way, you guys. Um, there's like, oops, wrong way. This one's like a flat top brush. They're all synthetic brushes, all cruelty free. They're really, really cute. They have like a pink handle and a copper ferrule. So they're really, really nice. Um, I haven't tested them out, obviously. All this stuff is brand new. I will say they have a strong scent to it, but they're very similar to the Vanity Planet brushes, that scent that I, and I really like the Vanity Planet brushes. And I found with those, I just aired them out for a couple days, um, and then I washed them, and then the scent went away. And the, I don't know if it's the same thing for this brush company, but for Vanity Planet, it was just the glue that they were using, so it smells exactly the same. I'm sure it's the glue that is being used here, so probably easy fix. I got some Yes To Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Facial Wipes. I got this. I don't know what this brand is, actually. That's what's cool about this whole beauty con thing is I'm getting to try and be exposed to a lot of brands I've never heard of or I've wanted to try and just haven't had the chance or funds to do so. So in here we have three items. It looks like this is from Absolute New York. This is a Pro Contour Palette. I got a Lash Perfect All-in-One 
mascara. And then finally, a perfect fill brow marker. And this bag is so cool. Like, look at this thing. It's like origami. This is from Redken. And inside this little pouchy pouch here, um, I got the Pillow Proof Blow Dry Express Treatment Primer and the Control Addict Hairspray, Extra High Hold Hairspray. Little travel size is always great to use when you're traveling, you know. Good time to use travel size things. Okay, so this is interesting. This is actually from Splat. This is the Colorizer Color Toning Conditioner. So five minute color, that's what this claims to be, and I got this in Violet Vixen. The reason that I got this is because I use purple to tone out my hair um, when it tends to get a little brassy. It kind of always looks brassy, honestly, in this lighting and in this camera, but in real life, my hair is actually quite ashy. So yeah, I will try this out when my hair gets brassy, brassy. <laughs> Do I speak English? I don't know, you tell me. When my hair gets brassy again, I will test this guy out. I got some Benzac Acne Solution Blemish Clearing Hydrator. The Madame, Madame, <laughs> Madame CJ Walker Beauty Culture Flyaway Curl Control Serum. This is to smooth and protect your skin, skin, hair. By the way, a lot of these products I'm also going to give away to my family and friends or either take it down to the women's shelter if there's anything here, which there's a lot of stuff here I probably won't get to try. Um, yeah, just, you know, I like to spread the love, but this is just a hair serum. I think I smelled this and I'm pretty sure it smelled like, ooh, amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it smells like cake. So good. Um, I got the Paul Mitchell's Super Skinny Serum. This is just in like cute little breast cancer education and awareness packaging. That's why it's pink. It's usually like green packaging. I got the Eva NYC Hair Serum, the Get Glossed Hair Serum. I love hair serums, they're amazing. And this one I also opened and smelled, and it smells super good. I love when, I mean, oh, it smells so good. I love when any, obviously, beauty product smells good, but especially my hair, because, you know, I don't know, are you the type of person, tell me if I'm weird, but, like, smells their hair? I always smell my hair. <laughs> you like when I'm driving and stuff, I'm, like, smelling my hair? It's just a habit. Oh, gosh, we're spilling. Whoa, whoa, it's a doozy. Okay, this is from Per Minerals, or Per, is this Per Minerals? Is that what this, yeah, Per Minerals. This is the Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. The lady at the booth was saying that this is supposed to go well with every skin tone, despite this looking very dark for my skin. She said it's supposed to go well with every skin tone, so we shall see. This one's from Real Techniques, a shading eyeshadow brush. The Paul Mitchell Express Dry Dry Shampoo, it's called the Dry Wash. I am oh, so excited to try this because I go through so much dry shampoo because I only wash my hair like maybe <laughs> once or twice a week, which sounds awful, but it's just how I keep my hair healthy. Um, it's help how I keep my hair from drying out. So yeah, dry shampoo is definitely my best brands. And also from Paul Mitchell is this. How cool is this? This is the... Paul Mitchell's three quarter inch smoothing iron and this is like a little travel size straightener. This says I love Paul Mitchell on it. It's so tiny I can almost use it as chopsticks when I'm eating. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> This is from Garnier. This is the Micellular Cleansing Water. I've actually just got one of these to try out, so it's awesome that I have another one. I actually might give this to my mom to try. And these are cool because not only are they great cleansing waters, but the girl at the booth was also saying she uses these. She puts it in like a spray bottle and uses it to spot clean her makeup brushes, which I think is a genius idea. We have the Garnier Brutis Style 48 Hour Ultra Strong Sheer Set Breathable Hold Hairspray. That's a mouthful, Garnier. This is another product from Madame, <laughs> Madame, <laughs> Madame, CJ Walker. This is the wonderful pre-wash protein treatment. So um, since I do color treat my hair, my hair is probably very damaged. And so proteins, great for damaged hair. Great for processed hair. So if you're color treating your hair or if you're doing any type of perms or chemically straightening your hair, you need to be treating your hair with protein. Not just moisture, you need both people. This is from Completely Bare Hair Removal Experts. This is a moisturizing no bump shave gel. So, ooh, I actually already used this once. Not only does it smell lovely, because it smells nice and fresh, but yeah, um, it's 
makes it the razor glide really nicely over the skin so it helps with you know not getting nicks or with bumps irritation redness all the kind of stuff we want to avoid when we're shaving this is not your mother's double take dry finish texture spray so I'm not sure maybe I could try it on my hair right now mmm smells nice you like it Mmm. Yes. Can any more? This is from Glam Glop and Glam. I've never heard of this one. Um, this is the Cake Batter Hydrating Conditioner. Now, I had high hopes for this. It smells <clears throat> a little not like cake batter. <laughs> I can see where they're going with that smell, like, um, but it just makes me a little nauseous. But yeah, I can always use conditioner because I go through conditioner like crazy. Does anyone else go through conditioner? I swear I go through twice as much conditioner as I do shampoo. And then in, last thing in this bag is another Garnier Micellular Cleansing Water. But this is the one that is for waterproof makeup. So this helps remove waterproof mascara, eyeliner, all that kind of stuff. So it actually you can see this one you have to shake it and then you use it. Yeah. So this bag is empty now. Alright, so next this is in... What's in this bag is lots of makeup y items. This is the NYX Beauty School Dropout 2. They had a whole section in the back there that you could go in and do your makeup and stuff like that. It was actually really cool. So again, same same style, just pulling off the top. I got this Bioionic Silver Classic Magnesium Hairbrush. Now, of course, you know, I, I actually do stand there and listen to what the people have to say. I don't just like grab the products and walk away. I try to like listen so I can inform you guys, but don't remember what they were saying about this brush. Something about the ions and it helps kind of like I think smooth down your hair. Anyways, it's supposed to be pretty dang cool. So another hairbrush. I think I actually might give that to my mother because she needs a new hairbrush. This is Pixie by Petra. This is the Book of Beauty. And the, sh the one that I got it in is Minimal Makeup. So let me just open this baby up for you guys. See? Ooh. And it looks like a little book. This I am super excited about. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you. This is the Z palette. Now, I actually think I will pick up more of these, but I just wanted to try it out and see if it works well. Excited about that. I cannot wait to consolidate. I love consolidating. Mm, it's my hobby. I got this from Mally Beauty. I've never tried anything from Mally, but I have been wanting to because I hear amazing things about Mally's makeup. This is the Evercolor Poreless Face Defender Boost. I think this is a bronzer. I need to kind of figure it out because it comes with the sponge. So to me, that's not what you apply bronzer with. So somehow I think I'm missing something. I need to research. These are two of the Shadow Stick Extra. This one is in Burnished Bronze and Champagne. So here we've got a champagne color, obviously. And then Burnished Bronze. Looks like this. And then we've got another More Is More mascara here. I can always use mascara because mascara and eyeliners I always go through very quickly because I throw them away because I don't like holding on to them too long since they're around my eyes. Um, this is from The Brow Gal. This is the highlighter pencil in gold nude. This side has like the nude um, tone to it so you can put it right under your eyebrow to make it look nice and sharp. And this is actually gold color so I'm not really sure if it's going to go under there or if it's supposed to kind of go in your tear duct or what it's supposed to do but I'll try and find out for us. I got the L'Oreal La Palette Lip. This is in the shade Plum 02 kind of in the same color family that I'm wearing right now. A little face and what is this? Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash. Another awesome travel size. I got this from Touch and Soul, which is a Korean brand. I was excited to see there. This is the Style Neon Super Proof Gel Eyeliner, and the shade that I got is in Gray Meteor. Ooh, what do we got here? Yeah, you guys know what a <laughs> eyeliner pencil looks like, right? Um, I got the Kate Somerville Two Minute Facial. This is the Exfoliate. 
I love exfoliating, so this is the Pop Pow Pop Pow Wow Powder in Strobe and Glow. Some of these pressed powders from Maybelline. Now, I'm excited about these, you guys, because I have the Asian version of this powder, so I'm going to test them out in an East vs. West Beauty Battle Breakdown and let you guys know if there's any difference. I got three shades because I wasn't sure which one is my shade, so I got 25, 30, and 50. And also, I just grabbed more so I could swatch more for you guys so you guys could see if, in case you're interested in picking one up yourself. Um, another little... Is this a... I think it's a little hairspray. Stay Strong Hairspray from Paul Mitchell. This Maybelline Colossal Spider Effect Mascara. Mm, these two powders from Steely Style. These little face powders. I got a Lime Crime Unicorn Lipstick. This is my first Lime Crime Lipstick. I was really excited about this. This is in the shade Great Pink Planet. So, cute, right? And it looks like a really pretty like pink that I think would look good on everyone. So. It smells like MAC lipsticks. Little Baby Pillow Plump from Soap and Glory. Little plumping lip gloss. This is the NYX Beauty School Dropout Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. It's just, you know, smoky eyeshadow palette. Um, also from NYX, I got the whole, I think, I'm assuming this is the whole line. I haven't done much research on it. But these are the matte velvet lipsticks. So I got all the shades. I might do a swatch video on these. I'm not quite sure or I will at least swatch them on my blog for you guys. But right now I am actually wearing the shade Miami Nights. So it looks like this. But yeah, this line is cool because they've got like purples. They've got another crazy violet. There's a crimson red. They've got a black. I mean, when am I ever going to wear these? Uh, I don't know. Probably just in my videos. <laughs> I like to change it up for you guys. Look a little different. I got these color jolts from Maybelline. I got five of them. I, I don't know if I got, I think I tried to grab one of each and I don't know if I succeeded in that or not. But these I think are supposed to be like the OCC lip tars because these are intense lip paints. And that's pretty much it. I mean I got some bob bits and bobs in here but I think for the most part that's that is what I got. So anyways you guys I got a lot to clean up and sort through and maybe give some away to my friends and family and to a shelter but let me know before I do that if you guys have any products in particular you guys want to see more information on if I don't do a fully dedicated video to it I can always do a blog post on my website those are usually more straight to the point and you guys kind of can see the pictures and close-ups and all that kind of good stuff but this video is gonna be super long so as always I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate comment subscribe share with your friends and family and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys to burp that whole time. <laughs>